Hey everyone, welcome to WHO Productions. Today we are going to be making this uh, mascot logo into animation uh, as you can see over here. Uh, so these skills will be where the skills that I am going to show you in this uh, uh, intro animation is uh, are going to be very useful for you for further animations as well. So stay tuned to the very end of this video and let's get straight to it. So first of all, we will jump into Photoshop and we are going to prepare our uh, initial file. So this is going to be our mascot logo over here. And uh, what you can see over here is that I have divided this into uh, two different parts. Uh, so you can do the same with your logo. Many of you, uh, many of you people would have, might have a logo where you have something that you can separate like an arm or a, a gun or something like that so that we can move them uh, in After Effects. Uh, so uh, the, how I did this, I'm just going to show you this right now. Let's suppose you have the part of your logo and then what you can do is basically select this uh, polygon lesser tool, zoom in and then just go ahead and draw this outline. I'm not going to draw the entire outline, but I'm just going to draw the rough outline uh, to give you guys an idea. You can do it uh, much better and uh, just select this area over here. You will see this selection part and uh, now just right click and select layer through cut. So what this is going to do, this is going to divide your file into two layers. This will be the lower jaw and this will be the upper jaw. And now you can go ahead and save this as a Photoshop file. And but this is a 1920 by 1080 pixel background. So that's okay. And you can just go ahead and save this. We will import this file in After Effects. So to save some time, I just went ahead and uh, just imported my file over here in a 1920 by 1080 pixel background. Uh, so as you can see, I have the same file over here uh, with the background and these uh, two upper and uh, lower jaw parts. So I'm just going to go ahead and hide the background for now. So uh, I'll just go ahead and move after one seconds uh, at around one second, you can say over here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and first of all, animate this lower jaw. So in order to do that, uh, we are just going to go ahead and select this puppet pin tool and just add these pins over here by just clicking them. And the third one on this chain over here. So we are going to have three points over here and we will move this. You can see that uh, once we are uh, moving this, then we are, it's look, it looks like uh, he is chewing something. So if you ever want to reset, then you can reset by just clicking this. And this is what we are going to use just now. Uh, so let's go ahead and just uh, click this uh, stopwatch over here at one second. And this is going to add a keyframe. So after adding these uh, three points, what we are going to do is uh, then uh, pressing this stopwatch uh, at one second. Now we are going to move ahead. And what, what we will do is uh, slightly move this jaw upwards. Uh, I think this would be fine and uh, then just go ahead another few seconds and then we are what we are going to do is just go ahead and copy the same keyframe by pressing u you can uh, reveal all of these keyframes and we will select this keyframe control c and move over here and press control v so you can see that this jaw is moving right now and this is going to decrease the resolution so just like this it's going to move So we are fine with this and now we are going to copy this middle one uh, in which the, we have the position over here. Press Ctrl C on our keyboard and move a little over here and then press Ctrl V. And then for the last time we are going to select this uh, first keyframe, press Ctrl C and then just go ahead and Ctrl V over here. So we, will, we are going to have this uh, laughing type of uh, behavior for this skull. And uh, let's just do the same thing with the upper part. So in order to add uh, more puppet position tools on this upper part, we are first of all going to go back to one seconds because uh, if we added them over here, then this will disturb our animation. So I'm just going to go back at one second over here. Now I'm going to add four points. One, two, three, and four. So as you can see that uh, we can move this uh, up and down like he's a chewing some gum. So you can press uh, Ctrl Z to reposition this. And uh, now 
uh, we are going to hit this stop watch button over here next we will move down and we will go at this position where we have this up and we can just go ahead and move this downwards like this so if you see the animation then uh, this will be the animation over here uh, now i'm just going to uh, go over here so this is for the lower jaw and this is for the upper jaw i'm going to press u so you can see uh, the all the keyframes that we are adding this is public position one which is this point so let's go to the third point and now we are going to do the same step that we did before copy this keyframe and paste it control c and control v over here now we are going to go to this fourth keyframe copy this middle one which will be our jaw closing down control c control v i know that this is going to be a bit uh, difficult in the start but this is going to give you a really nice animation and then once you have mastered this then you can apply this perfect position to uh, all the different uh, types of parts or uh, uh, different uh, logos that you have so you can uh, just go ahead and replay the uh, tutorial if you want because uh, initially this will be a little tricky task press control c on this one and for the last one i'm just going to press control v over here so this is going to give us uh, some sort of uh, laughing type animation that you can also add some sound effects uh, back now i'm just going to select all of these and select my keyframe assistant and easy easy you can also press f9 uh, but since my f9 key is uh, making tea in the kitchen so that's why i'm using this method so for this next part uh, what we are going to do is uh, just go ahead and close these up now we're going to add the eyes over here so going to select this uh, v on my keyboard to select the tool and now i'm just going to type first of all i'm going to make a new layer and new solid layer you can name it anything you want and i'm going to light cc light rays we will select this uh, effect and we will drop this on our this uh, solid that we have made now we are going to select uh, none from over here and for this color from the source we are going to select uncheck this so this is going to give us this light over here now this is round so we will need a square for this one and we are just going to go ahead and drop this over here i'm just going to decrease the radius a bit maybe like uh, 28 or any anything that you want so i'm just going to place it over here so after adding this uh, uh, eye over here or you can see the glowing eye over here we will just uh, go ahead and uh, see where we can uh, put the keyframe so i think uh, this is the locking point and uh, over here we can just reveal our eyes uh, so this is around this is around 3 seconds so what we are going to do next is first of all we are going to go ahead and change the color you can change any color that you want uh, depending upon the logo uh, colors that you are using so i'm just change the color from over here and uh, next what i'm going to do is uh, just hit s on my keyboard to open scale at uh, around 3 seconds i am just going to hit this stopwatch and select zero over here then i'm going to go ahead a little bit uh, over here then i'm going to select zero 100 sorry 100 this is going to reveal our eye but uh, another important thing that we missed is that uh, we first of all need to change this anchor point over here so that it reveals from the mid so to change this anchor point we will just go ahead and select this tool over here and place this anchor point in the middle so this is going to look nice now now what we are going to do is uh, press shift and select r on our keyboard to open rotation so at this rotation we are just going to move to the first keyframe select this one and then we are going to jump to the next keyframe and select uh one for this so 
when this i will uh, appear it is going to rotate now we are going to just go ahead uh, at around 5 seconds because we want to make this rotate a little bit more and we are just going to make this rotation uh at around over here maybe so this will give you a slow rotation like this first it's fast and then it's slow so it's nice animation i think this is done for the eye now i'm just going to press control d and duplicate this and just going to select this tool and drag this over here drag this over here so right now our animation is looking something like this yes so that's a nice animation and uh, one more thing that we need to do is uh, just go ahead and uh, press t on our keyboard to open the opacity for this we will have the opacity like this and after it finishes rotating we are just going to go ahead and select the opacity as 100 then go over here a bit after 5 seconds we're going to select the opacity as 0 So let's do the same with this one. Copy both of these keyframes, control C and move to 5 seconds. This second i we are going to press T on our keyboard, press control V to paste them. Now both of our eyes are going to vanish. Now uh, the last two parts are left. So we are going to add our uh, layer which will be a text layer. and uh, whatever your gaming channel name is you can just type it over here after typing you can just go ahead and drag this down just like this and uh, i'm going to place an effect over here called blur by word blur by word drag this over here and this is going to reveal our words like this just like this so once we have this animation done we are going to just close it off at i think 8 seconds is good enough and for the first uh for going to the first 1 second i'm just going to go ahead and uh, select both of these upper and lower jaw press uh, right click and then pre compose them you can name it whatever uh, you can say that these are jaws because we are going to reveal these jaws so now we are going to place an effect over here which is venetian blinds this one and drag this over here so as you can see we are now we can now see this logo over here and for this venetian blinds i'm just going to select 45 degree angle from over here and you can see that the angle has changed and increasing the width a little we can just go ahead and increase the width to make it look nicer so this will reveal our logo and this will complete our entire animation so by the way if you are liking this video so far then please be sure to leave a like and comment below now we are going to render this file so in order to make this animation a bit more smooth we can just go ahead and right click and select the keyframe assistant and easy ease them so this will just ease out the keyframes and animation and this is enough uh, so let's just go ahead and file export and add to render queue you can select any option over here but i usually select quick time and if you have a dob media encoder connected then you can just uh, right away uh, export this into an mp4 format this is your destination that you want to place your file and then you can just go ahead and click render so guys i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you did then please uh, leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more amazing content and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks so much for watching